Hey, DOT community, this is another episode of the DOT After Show with Zalon and Bo. How are we doing today, Bo? Doing good, Zalon. Got the update finally. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. And uh, I was going to say, so when you got your update, did you do what uh, what I did and uh, try to uh, unlock some of your uh, skills and uh, uh, relic slots? No, I, oh. I, actually, I, I had just installed the update. I had just went into the game. And, of course, I always have, like, you know, 25 messages I have to respond to and did all that. And then I had gotten into... Um, checking out you know to see if things were the way that we thought they were and then you call so <laughs> mm. i haven't been able to do anything i haven't played it at all yet okay okay well um i was gonna say what i'm gonna do um well, i'm just showing off real quick here in the beginning uh that we have uh the chosen six event of course that's going on right now um that everybody is currently playing and we're ranked 88th um, I'm not too sure, uh, where, if you know where you're ranked right now currently, Bo, or not, but are you guys doing pretty good? Uh, Rogue Squad is in the top 200, I'm not sure where, okay. 187 or so, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, Maniacs is in the, uh, the tier below that. Okay. Uh, to, I think to, um, uh, I want to say 270 something, they're almost in that top 250. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Well, um, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna jump out of the game real quick, and I'm gonna show everybody because I said on my live stream last night that I would show everybody what happened to Ulrich, uh, when I up did the up update. So uh, I'm gonna jump out real quick. I got the video loaded up here, so I'm gonna play it. This is what happened. Oh, look at that like double logo there. I'm gonna put my logo on top of my logo. There we go. <laughs> This is what happened. Turn it up a little bit. I don't know if it'll play or not. There, it is. there it is. The skills cool. upgraded and unlocked. Oh, oh nice. there I am. Here's my. Yeah, yeah. I record. I did do Let's this recording. Unlock the skill. Interesting. And here. So you just used uh, the one star. Is that what yeah. you did? No, I went into battle actually and did oh, a, yeah. did a battle. Okay. So you went into battle and then. After the battle, he automatically unlocked and leveled his skills to where he was supposed to be based on his level. Correct. So now that he's, right. since he's 57, you can see here on the screen, I have everything, including the last skill. The last skill is all the way up to level 7 already. So he now has, he now has 78% resist against poison. And it will have resi resist against whatsoever. So now he's got 78% resist against poison, 72% resist, uh, resist against earth, and then with my other two four-star relics I have on there, he's got 44% against fire and 32% against ice. So with those four different elements all being resisted against, along with 66% armor, which again, that's not even all the way up yet. His armor uh, percentage is going to go a lot higher if, if I get these relics totally maxed out. So... I was pretty impressed with the way that that worked out in uh, in Ulrich's favor. So I had to show that here um, uh, just to, to, to let everybody yeah. know exactly what happened when I went to the update because, again, having a super high-level Titan like that, typically most people that weren't already maxed out with their, their Titan were fighting hard to get those last skills opened or find out what they were, at least. Did you get your six? You have your six relic slot oh yeah Ulrich already has a six relic slot that was during that uh, fusion uh, 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 oh, okay. in preparation right. videos so, that I did so yeah I got the, yeah. I got I got the six relic on there too yeah. so, so now here I it's important to note that the skills and relic slots are tied to the Titan level and it has nothing to do with the level cap correct it doesn't matter what your cap is if your Titan is above the level of your cap then you just need to take them into battle once and then they will automatically level up and unlock their skills and unlock any relic slots that they're supposed to have exactly you, would, you weren't you weren't supposed to get that sixth relic slot until the titan reaches level 60 but because you already had it unlocked previous
previous to the update, um, it stayed there. Correct. So they're not, they're not taking anything away. Um, but they're not giving anything and, extra to, to you either. So, I mean, you have... Right, you, exactly. Exactly. So, um, I don't have any Titans of that level. My highest level Titan is Ulrich as well, but he's only like 38. Yeah. But he has five skills and five relic slots unlocked. So, um, even though he's only level 38, he a bit more powerful than a level 38 Titan would be under the new system because I can equip extra relics and I have extra skills already available to him. Um, my next level Titans are all in the, um, in the low twenties or in the teens. And so what I did previous to the update was I spent all my one stars and two stars getting their skills and relic slots unlocked so that um, they could be a little bit more useful before the cap got put into place and the new leveling system got put into place. Yeah. Um, so I was at, I think I was kind of at a, I don't think there were that many players that were doing that because they had types that were close to the cap or already over the cap and they wanted to work on them. Um, so most people did actual did actual leveling and didn't worry about the skills and the slots because they knew that would come later. I did the inverse of that. I did skills and slots and didn't worry about the level. Yeah. So. Well, here let's uh, let's start talking about the uh, the dev stream and uh, maybe we'll we'll touch okay. back on some of these things as well to have to deal with the update because they also did talk about that. Oh, I, and, well, here you can see on the screen um, my current cap is at 44 so um and being that uh um uh right now i only have two titans that are over 30 um uh that aren't ulrich so uh, and being souls are one of them uh so i've been i've been raiding with him pretty much when i'm not doing the uh when i'm not doing anything that has to deal with the event yeah. but um <clears throat> so anyway Ben was back this week, um, but uh, th- he was back for his last time. That was the only that was the only downside. It was his last time this week, so uh, basically uh, he did come on for one last hurrah, which was cool. Um, they did give away twenty k gems this week, which was also cool uh, in celebration of uh, well, not celebration. Well, I guess celebration of his last stream, I guess. But, yeah. Um, and no, they gave away two. They gave away forty k total. Oh yeah. Yeah, they always do one for Facebook and one for YouTube, which I appreciate because obviously it's two different mediums that they're obviously a- a- appealing to. So I find it only fair that they do- they don't pick it from only one source and one from each is fair. So yep. Um, but uh, also too, uh, they also started talking about, of course, the one point one seven release info on the fusion and the level capping. This, of course, is what we were just discussing before we got into all the uh, the dev live stream talk here. And has been pretty well, I don't want to say beat like a dead horse, but I think everybody yeah. at this point knows pretty uh, pretty much exactly how the, the fusion and level capping uh, basic premise fixing, uh, you know, changes um, and what they are. Yeah, so. they, even, uh, they even did up a nice little chart for you mm-hmm. so you can tell what you're going to get when the Titan goes to the next level. Oh, yeah. And uh, that, was, uh, that was actually very useful. Uh, I'm really appreciative that they did that because it answers a lot of questions. There was some confusion. Oh yeah, a lot. Um, last I, week, definitely and some then confusion. They released that chart and it answered all the questions. So yeah, I wish they would have really mentioned fun, it on the stream. You know, I wish um, they would have mentioned it on the stream about the chart because and where and where to find it, just in case, because there's still plenty of people that don't know where to find that that information. Yeah, yeah, it's it's available on their Dawn of Titan blog. Uh, yeah. is where it is. Uh, of course, we've also posted it numerous times on our band channel and it's also been posted on the reddit subreddit mm-hmm. um for uh for dawn of titans as well as i don't know if it went out on their twitter um, uh, i don't know i didn't see any, anything like that on their twitter account recently i did I, I did see them like they tweeted out the link to the blog post so technically it did go out but they didn't just post the chart yeah so but the big thing there is that um you know, your, your Titan levels 1 through 10 are, your new Titans 1 through 10 are nothing. They're just, they're just levels, right? Exactly. And then, and then 
levels 11 through 20 are going to level up your first skill uh, from 1 through 10. But the relic slots unlock on the 10. So at level 10, you get a relic slot. At 20, you get a relic slot. At 30, you get a relic slot. But the skills unlock on the, quote, unquote, the 11, right? So mm. you get your second skill at 21, your third skill at 31, your fourth skill at 41, and so on and so forth. Um, so you don't get that sixth relic slot until your Titan is level 60, and we still don't know what's happening with that skill that's quote unquote coming soon. Mm -hmm. So but it's a pretty it's a um a, a pretty good system. I, I really really would have liked for that to have been the way it was from day one, but uh um, yeah. it'll take it'll take a few months for things to kinda even out, but uh for long term gameplay, uh I do believe that it is improvement. Oh yeah. And, I uh, agree. I agree. Definitely an improvement over just the chance. Because look, let's be honest, nobody likes the chance of anything. The next big thing they gotta fix is relic forging. Yeah. Um it's uh it's still annoying. <laughs> yeah. Um it is. I don't think I mean you know, I've got a couple of four star relics that I've been able to, to max out at, at level ten. So it's it's possible it's just annoying not knowing mm -hmm. that you're making progress. So suggestion being that give relics like experience points, like Titans, and just let them level up. You know, even if it takes a thousand one-star relics to get uh, a four-star relic up to level 10, um, which is about what I'm thinking, it, what I'm seeing it's taking, you know, in the new, in the current system. You know, give us a counter and let us let us know how far along we are, uh, because we may want to concentrate on one versus the other rather than just taking a chance. Yeah, I know what you're saying too. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I actually spread out my my relic forging, um, and actually I'll show it right here real quick, um, because and the only reason I did that on my four stars is because having so many four star relics, um. And just concentrating on one or two, um, it, as you can see here, I got four, five, six, three. Um, but uh, most of the defense relics unlock their second skill on the second level. So I, yeah. try, I try to make sure that all my defense relics, and I try to get as many offense relics to open their second skill. Because I find it that those percentages are easier than constantly going for level 9 or level 10 of, of this one yeah, same relic is, over and over true. and over again. When you constantly yeah. waste all your relics on just one 4-star, or you know what I mean, to try to get it to that level 9 and level 10, you have all these other relics that you could be using on, well, again, you have to be someone who has more than one or two titans, that are that are being used for defense or something like that, or or like an event like this where I'm jumping between four stars to try and you know, you know play out some different uh, some different strategies with different four stars. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, you can see twos and threes, twos and threes. I try to unlock, like I said, a majority of now these are Ulrichs right here. So obviously I've been leveling those up specifically, but. Other than that, majority of my four stars are all level two, just to unlock the skills so that the the Titans benefit now. Instead of saying, oh, well, yeah, I'll get to it later, the Titans really don't benefit for a very long time until you can finally max out certain things. So, Yeah, I do the same thing. I try to get those first two or three or four levels, mm -hmm. and then once I get those, then I'll switch back to, you know, trying to get my four-star Dragon Helm from level nine to level ten. You know? Exactly. Because all your Titans that are defending can benefit from all of those second skills on the offense or defensive relics more than your your one main Titan. And guess what? You just blasted out 200k food, used all the relics that you had stored up currently, and you know you'll get more, but guess what? Nothing got upgraded. You just wasted it all on your one relic that you've been working on, you know? So I don't find that to be useful. Or a good strategy, let's just put it that way. Um, <clears throat> so, 
So anyway, the devs were saying that they were watching Caesar 187 before the before the stream, which was pretty impressive. Yeah. And then they came back later in the stream to to to, to mention it again, um, that they were all super super happy. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> shout out shout out to Caesar in uh, NC Maniacs. So good job, Caesar. Yeah, that's right. So um, and then this is the thing that blew me away, which is they went Matt went directly into a sneak peek of the new Trials of Power. And it wasn't pictures. Yeah. It wasn't pictures. No, it wasn't. Nothing like that. Or just talking about it. He went straight into a, a Trials of Power battle, which I thought was yep. pretty awesome. An actual test build. Yeah. Right. So why, why don't you talk about that for for a second there, but while I continue to put put down defenses here. Well, one of the things, one of the big things about the 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 next Trials of Power is they they flattened out the scoring curve so that um, the new point system. Is uh, be a little bit more fair for the uh, lower level players, um, and allow them to compete for um, you know some of the higher uh, prizes. And um, he also said that instead of just having the one unique titan that is available for the player that wins, you know that scores the highest, uh, that there will be several of those. So there will be more. Whatever the main prize is, there will be more of those available. Um, I don't know if that means, you know, 10 or 100, but there's more, more than one. Exactly. Um, and also there's a new, new battlefield. Um, it doesn't have the same, like all of the little, like, caves and stuff in the back. Yeah. And, um, so the, the troops just spawned in the back, and they look like the spell drops were about the same as they were before. Correct. Um, and same 10-minute timer. Um, I didn't notice uh, if his Titan got, um, you know, the the the, the li- XP that we got from the last one because the one they were using was already quote unquote maxed out. Yeah. Even though it was the core at level fifty, it was maxed out. But that's probably a test build for the Trials of Power that doesn't have the new leveling system implemented in the test build. So no, yeah. don't worry about that. That was no big deal. Um, so that'll be, we'll have to wait. That was one of the nice things about the Trials of Power was the 2,500 XP per battle for your Titan. Win or lose, didn't matter. You got 2,500 XP. So um, a nice way to level up. Um, I mean, if you have a brand new Titan, that's, that's what, three point something levels on a, on a level one Titan. So um, very nice there. And he said next week or the next week. No, so, no, no. He said this week or next week. Uh, we we go over that. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, week okay. yeah. I I made a note of that actually a little later on because he does he mentioned it later on in the stream. But yeah, it's either this week or next week. That's what he said. Right. So so this week being after the current event or next week. Correct. What, uh, what he said. Okay. Cool. Hey, I could do with the trials of power this weekend, man. That 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 would be awesome. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think that would be pretty cool. Yep. Definitely. All right. So I didn't have anything else on the trials of power. Okay. Um, um. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Um. I was just uh just uh making some more troops actually. Um. So uh, I was gonna say. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Uh. Well, yeah. There was a big shout out for Bo and non toxic, which was quite nice. Um, yep. and oh, Pisces Shark was shouting out Pennsylvania because they were asking that that's my home state right here, um, in, in, yep. in the U.S. Um, but I was going to say, uh, they were asking about what time it was everywhere for everybody. So they actually got a very, very big response from a lot of people on that question. Um, and then of course, because of the current event, they showed off all the six chosen Titans, which I currently yep. have, I currently have three. Oh, there he is. There's one of them popping up right there. Skullgrim. I got the Skullgrim, the Coldan, and the Kamathi. So there, I can actually get yeah. them all on the same screen. I got those three right yeah, there. So, so it's one. It was one. It's one Titan of each damage type. Yeah. Is what it was. So it wasn't a race or you know the Vikings are you know special and boars are special. So they had you know, they had one Titan for each type of damage, right? So you had Earth, Fire, Poison. Physical ice and lightning um, is what each of the chosen six are. Yeah. So, 
and uh, yeah, oh well, here I'll also show off. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, here, do this. Well, yeah, so that, I've been bouncing nice back and forth between Grim Skull and Kamasi because those are the only two that I have. Oh, okay. Um, well, does your other uh, does your other Timmy account also have? Uh, does he have a uh, any of them or no? I didn't think so. Right. No, no. The other, the only four star on Timmy's account is Ladega. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, so I uh, just been using Karn, uh, just the normal, you know, normal way I play that secondary account, which is not often, but mm -hmm. I do try to burn through a set of portal stones like once a day on that account. Um, and um, uh, I've just been using Karn. Yeah. So. Well, um, so then they did a Drawn of Titans. I mean, this stream had so many good parts of it. I'm going to be honest with you. And then we had the Drawn of Titans. Ben drew uh, a Dracor, uh with what he called a Fruit Bowl hat, which I a thought was... Fruit Bowl hat, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It was nice to see that Ben Ben drew uh, a Drawn of Titans on his last stream, though. I thought that was pretty nice. So... And then we have um, also, too, we had uh, Dom actually drew a Coldan, and it was really good. I liked it. I thought yep. it was very well drawn. So. Yep, yep. It's obvious that, uh, that Dom is a real artist uh, and not a, um, you know, just a computer artist. Yeah, because, yeah, computer uh, artists aren't always, skilled, yeah. You know, yeah. Not, I'm not saying that, that that doesn't take skill. It does, but... Uh, there are some people that I know that, that are really good in, in Photoshop and Illustrator and you give them, uh, you know, you give them a pencil and a piece of paper and, and they just can't, they can't replicate the same thing. So, exactly. and then there are, are people the other way, they can draw on paper, but they can't do it on the computer. So, um, it's, um, uh, it's interesting to see, you know, when, when someone can do both like that. Oh yeah. Uh, Most definitely. Very, very, very impressive. So, and, um, the cold end was, I thought, I, you know, I just guessed because after he threw the head, I knew it was Ragnar. Um, so I, I, I guessed, uh, is it Skolnar? The uh, four-star guardian, is that Skolnar? Yeah. Yeah, you guessed. Uh, so I, I guessed Skolnar right after that. The first top part of the head was drawn, but it wasn't. It was cold end, so. Uh, but uh, Pisces Shark actually got the uh, drawn of titans correctly because Coldan is his yeah that's like his uh, main his titan. Favorite titan yeah yep yeah yeah um i was gonna say uh i'm also too um and then this was the this was the big new thing this i love i loved absolutely loved dom's mini video of the art department so i'm gonna tell yeah, everybody absolutely. right now to go back to and watch the live stream just for that aspect alone. I know a lot of people like to watch our video to just find out what they did so they don't have to watch the dev live stream. But I'm going to tell you right now, that part of the live stream was very cool. And I thought it was very well done. So, Yeah, that was actually a suggestion that was made by Champ, who's on the non-toxic four-star team mm -hmm. last week. And, uh, and they actually, you know, they actually did it and they did it very well. It was very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when they, uh, when they, he showed, uh, when the, the you yeah, know, he even told us the, the names of the, of the software that they use to do the different, um, things. So like they, they, they posed the Titan in uh, Maya, which is a 3d modeling program. And mm. then once they take what the Titan has the correct pose, they take him over into another program that I've never used that, to do the lighting. And then once that's done, they take it over into Photoshop and do any touch-ups or whatever they need. And that's how they, they create the artwork that goes out on the Twitter and um, things that, you know, that they create these custom images for, for the, uh, you know, the events and that type of thing. So it's not, it's not just, you know, really quickly let's make you know this picture there's there's a process there um and there's a lot that goes into um creating just that that one picture that they're going to send out in a tweet yeah uh, it was very interesting it's very 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 behind the scenes i, I love the stuff like that it's awesome yeah very cool very cool um and then we got into the the competition battles here at the very end of the stream like always um, Matt set the bar very high, only lost one troop, 
And then he sat back and pretty much just got to watch as everybody else struggled. So I'm going to tell you, he had a very, very good week this week when it came down to playing. So, yeah. Yeah, one of these days it's going to be, uh, Dom's going to get a win. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You want, yeah, you, you've been, I usually go hashtag Team Dom too, usually. But I, when I saw Ben was there and they didn't, they didn't wait to bring the, the guest in. When they wait, wait to bring the guest in, I'm more likely to just go with hashtag Team Dom. But I, uh, I do. I do like to see uh, the art department do well, because that's my favorite department. Yeah. I feel like they're the ones that do the most work on this game than anybody else in this game, and I believe that they they don't get as much credit as everybody gives them. Everybody lo- loves to haggle with all the people that you know are making the actual you know game like inner workings yeah. of how it is. But I feel like the art department is probably the ones that do some of the best work on the game, and they don't let us down. You know, I mean, has anyone been let down on on the, on how good a Titan looks? I don't think so. I think they've only done better. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you may not be you know, may not be crazy about a particular Titan or the way they look, but it's not that they didn't do a complete job of designing that that type. You just may not like the style or or whatever. Yeah, exactly. But they're all very well done. You know. Oh yeah. Um, so anyway, um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah. And then they, of course, that's right around the time since Matt got to sit back, he got to get, he gets involved in, you know, everybody's questions and everything else. So then it turns out, oh, okay. Um, and then it turns out that he just, uh, decides to, yeah, I'm raining fire now down on everybody. It's insane. This is, this map just blew up. Um, yeah. <laughs> hope I can still, hope I can still win. Um, anyway, uh, I was going to say, uh, he let everybody know that the trials of power is going to happen either this week or next week. And that's, and then, and then a great idea just popped up out of nowhere. Somebody, uh, I didn't even get the name on it though, but three types of troop select. So like you see down here on the bottom left, oh man, they dropped. Wow. That was smart. New troop AI right there, actually, we just witnessed, was they dropped a, uh, right in the middle of my range troops, they dropped a, uh, uh, um, uh, skeletons, undead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, actually... Yeah, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> well, no, they did it, they did it right in there. That was actually very smart. We're just gonna play yeah. a move on them, though, and do a quick... There we yeah, go. Yeah, but having the, having, so instead of just having a select all, you can have a button to select range. Yes. Uh, select melee, select melee or select type. Yeah, and I like um, that idea. I like that idea. I yeah. would get better. There's room on the bottom left here next to the select all button. If you made three buttons over there with a little bit of space, can't put them too yep. close together. But if you put space in between those select buttons, we could have a, the ability to select your different groups instead of just... Yeah, selecting one troop is still going to be available, but the ability to select the entire group of whatever it is. So you don't have to just have your art. You can't because you can already double double tap any 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 group already and it'll select right. all of the same troops of that type. The thing is, though, it would be great if you could grab all ranged or all melee all at the same time. So whereas you're, you know, um, although I don't know if that would yeah. Still deal with panthers, well, but yeah, panthers, yeah. Sometimes they're not on, you know, those troops are not on the map. You gotta zoom out to yeah. find one and then double tap. Yeah. And it would allow you to control troops that are not presently showing on your screen. Correct, correct. Uh, which is which is good, you know, which is useful for ranged troops because a lot of times your titan's up front whacking away if you're using like a champion like we do most of the time. And, mm. um, you know, so... And then you gotta you gotta zoom out, double click, you know, send your grenadiers over to here or wherever. Uh, I think it's a good a good idea. The I don't think it should be that difficult to implement, but um, you know, we'll just see. It was a good idea. And then the other um, the other idea that was posted in the stream that that got some good feedback from the stream participants was they didn't talk about it was. The one that um, that we've been talking about for a while was uh, having an event to bring back some of the really rare relics, like the 
protector and the defender and, and those type of, of relics that uh, okay. and just have an event where the relics are the reward, you know? Yeah. And there, there aren't, there aren't any Titans involved in the reward. It's just relics. Um, I think that would be a good idea. Um, and I think a lot of people would enjoy that as well. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Um, oh, that's not bad. Good for that. Um, so, and also, too, uh, Ben got a server error at the very end of his battle, which I thought was very, uh, I would say... Telling? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it's one of those things like, well, it's happened to us how many times, you know what I mean? So, like... Yeah. But that's what happens yeah, on this happens. last stream. It, it definitely happens. And, and we now know for sure that... Uh, 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 Ayaka is male. Yeah. But there was some confusion. That's the reason that I asked that question, because when the event launched, uh, the uh, Ayaka event launched, it said Ayaka and her allies. But then, you know, it's like looking, it's like, well, male, female, don't know. So not that that's a really important thing, but some of us that talk about the game, we like to know whether we should say he or she. <laughs> yeah, it's when we're true. Talking about a type, um, and and I got them to I got them to say yak face. So <laughs> you did, you did get them to say yak face on stream, which was very sweet. <laughs> You're watching so, my troops get slaughtered. Um, so then, and then, um, <laughs> so. Um, uh, Matt seemed to be pretty impressed with Caesar's Ladega skill. Oh yeah, well yeah, they were talking. Yeah, they were talking about uh, the, how they were on the stream again because somebody mentioned shout out to Caesar, and, and Matt's like, "Oh, Caesar one eight seven, you know, we were on your stream earlier, you know." And I was again, I just was complete, you know, uh, yeah, uh, what's it called, superstar status for Caesar there. Now that he's getting the yeah. uh, the dev bump. Yeah, yeah. Archers uh, playing with archers is a different style than playing with uh, with champions or infiltrators. Uh, one of the things that that makes this game so good is because you know you can um, you know depending on how you like to play, you can usually find a titan that allows you to play the way you want to. Exactly. Um, and uh, it's not all. I mean, it can get repetitive at times, but if you get bored playing with Ulrich, what do you do? You bring out your ice small. Sardu or Sol. And, and yeah, well, yeah. I was just gonna say, yeah. I, I've actually just been playing with my ice small Sardu. That's <laughs> Solzar, actually. Yeah. yeah. So you bring you bring out your ice small Solzar and and you play with him for a while, and then you know, so um, you know, lots of lots of variety. Um, the uh, and if we had the trial power, with you know, that's another you know play mode, if you want to call it that. It's uh, mm -hmm. something else to do, and. Exactly. Um, yeah, you know, variety is good. Variety yes. is very good. Variety so, is very good. Yeah, and then uh, the other thing that um, they they are aware of, and they know, and then you brought up in the um, in the uh, live stream comments, and they responded to you directly was that the uh, the neutral lands glitch needs to be fixed. Yeah, and uh, they they're aware of that, and they're working on it, and they said yes, we are aware of that. So, yeah, um, yeah, no need to go into that any further, but it is it is being worked on. Good. Um, yeah. And then we also so then, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, continue. Yep. No, no, no. Go ahead. I was. Well, I'm just setting up for a battle, so it's better if you talk anyway. <laughs> okay. So then, well, I was just gonna say, and then, uh, so then Matt won, um, again. Yep. So it's uh, Matt three guest one Dom zero Dom you are letting me down buddy yeah we gotta <laughs> come on man <laughs> I've been uh, I've been team Dom since you got there <laughs> yeah I know and you did such a good job on your on your mi your mini video today we wanted to see you you know bring it take it home <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> he definitely he definitely won the um, what do we call it the special special section of the um, of the live stream. Yes, that's right. Um, that's right. With the mini video. Yes, so, that's uh, right. Points there, but uh, no points on the uh, battlefield scoreboard. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But so Ben, so and then Ben said goodbye.
Ty, because he's moving on from Dawn of Titans to another project mm-hmm. uh, within natural motion, I think is what they said. Yeah, that's what they said. Um, yeah, so, so you know, he's still around. He's just, you know, going to be working on something else. So. And what was that stuff they were eating at the end there? Uh, salt covered? Licorice. Licorice. Yeah. Yeah, that must be a must be a British thing. Um, I don't ever remember seeing that um, across the pond here in the states. Um, yeah, me neither. Not a huge fan of licorice anyway. Um, but um, I can't imagine salt covered licorice. Um, but uh, this thing that they've done here at the end, where the losers have to. Uh, you know, have to eat some kind of weird, <laughs> some kind of weird thing at the end, and you see their reactions, and they're, you know, they're it's it's great, it's priceless. And then uh, Matt, you know, even though he won, he took a whole big old handful of those things and popped them in there. And <laughs> oh yeah, he went crazy with those. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna have to. I can track down some salt covered licorice, salted licorice, um, just to try it. Because Matt's very curious. <laughs> His uh, curiosity got a hold of him. He had to try one. Yeah, he did. But he did the pepper the week before, too. So, um, Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. But that was, was pretty much it for the live stream. Uh, it was a good live stream, though. Probably one of the better ones I've done. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, if when you watch this video afterwards and see this battle that I'm fighting right now, I'm, I, I'm. It's not obviously a live stream, so you can't see. But when you watch it later, you're gonna be so, so, thinking that I'm crazy because I barely won. <laughs> I just spent two and a half minutes spending everything I had just to get through it. But it was for the video, yeah, okay. man. It was for the video. Get too, man. Yeah, well, yeah, souls. getting those souls, but it was also for the video. Man, was that a hard yeah. fight. I was struggling so hard concentrating while we were talking. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, yeah, you're absolutely correct. That's pretty. That's uh, everything that we could talk about pretty much for the live stream. Um, and we also did talk a lot about the new update and currently what's going on with that. So I'm glad yeah, we were well, able to one share. Thing, one thing that we didn't mention on the update is undefended lands are now one portal stone. Oh, yes. Get them player or you get them from your neutral lands is one portal stone mm -hmm. so um i don't know if uh i mean that's going to change some of our alliance strategies as far as um how they react when someone caps a land from them mm -hmm. um because uh but the the easy thing is uh just defend your lands and then it costs six yeah. Even if you just put, even if you put one level one, one star type on that land, it now becomes six portal stones to capture instead of one. Yeah. So that's um, true. That is what you should be doing if you, for some reason, want to. I don't understand why people have lands that they don't defend. Uh, that's just me. Yeah. Um, and I know some people pull all their defenses off the land when they are not playing the game. Um, but lands are pretty easy to replace. Yes. Um, so I just leave mine on all the time, and I log in often and collect the resources. That's the way I do it. Yeah. Um, but what I really don't understand is why, uh, unless you're like taking an extended multi multiple day break from the game, why would you would pull your defenses off and just have all your lands undefended all the time? Um, but some people do that. Some people do that because they don't care about having lands, but they want to get the gems for doing the daily. So they capture the land, but they don't ever do anything with it. I, you know, that's one reason. But, you know, if you if you don't want your lands to be captured, because they're going to be captured now, since they're just one portal stone, mm -hmm. um, and there's an event going on, and capturing undefended lands gives you the full amount of soul for one portal stone. So it, if you see a bunch of lands being captured, it may just be people playing the event because that's more efficient use of portal stones. 
if that's what you're doing is yeah. playing the event. Most of the time, though, I've noticed, and, and some of the guys were saying that, you know, oh, somebody just captured all my undefended lands, but then when they go back, they're still undefended. Huh. Right? Yep. So you can capture them back, and you can ping pong undefended lands that way. Yeah. Um. So, you know, that's, you know, not maybe they're not necessarily trying to start a cap war. They're just getting souls for the event. So everybody calm down. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, wow. But, uh, but yeah, but that was, other than that, I mean, I think we covered everything as far as the live stream and the update. Uh, let's talk about non-toxic a little bit. We'll sure. Do that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, so uh, one of the uh, one of the big changes in non-toxic is actually internal to our band and the way we have bands set up. Um, <laughs> if you are a part of a non-toxic alliance, that being not the the, the non-toxic main alliance, and then uh, NT Rogue Squad or NT Maniacs or NT Guardians, those four alliances used to have a private chat room in the non-toxic gamers band. Well, those private chat rooms have been deleted. I just deleted them a little while ago. I did put a post in the main Dawn of Titans chat room in the non-toxic gamers band, which is public, which is open to everyone that plays the game. There's a lot, there's, I don't know, there's all, close to 300 members of that chat right now from alliances all the way from League of Gods and Born Phoenix, and we got some... Uh, um, uh, some squads in there, some squad alliances in there, uh, Godan's in there, so this new order alliance, uh, Fandrel's in there with his alliance. So, I mean, it's just players playing the game, talk in that chat room. Um, so if you want to interact with players in a civilized manner, <laughs> because we don't allow a lot of trash talking or there's no foul language or any of that stuff that goes on in there. Hashtag line um, chat. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> we, um, you can join us on band and it's really easy to find. It's band.us forward slash at non toxic gamers. Put that link in a browser and it'll carry you right there. If you don't have the app installed, it'll let you install the app. If you do have the app installed, It'll ask you, do you want to open it in the app, and it'll join you right up. So, um, but for our alliances, we created a whole new band channel that is not public. It's a quote unquote secret band, which means you can't even search it inside the band application. Um, but if you're in a non toxic alliance, you have not received an invitation to the new band, then you need to send me, Boganora, a message on band, and I will send you a link to the new band for the Dawn of Titan Alliance. Um, once you're in there, there are, once again, chat rooms for each alliance, but these chat rooms are public, so we don't have to add people to the chat rooms. You can just go to the chat room and start chatting. And there's a main chat room that everyone is a member of by default, all the alliances are members of the main chat room, but it's the whole band is private as opposed to just the chat room's private. So this is that's the way that's working. Um, and that's the way we're gonna do it going forward and that allows us to use the posts, the uh, calendar, the polls, uh, all of the functions of band that we didn't use before because there were other people playing other games besides just Dawn of Titans that really didn't want to see a lot of Dawn of Titans stuff. Now we can do that within the private band, and um, it should be a lot more functional for us. So that's, uh, that's the biggest non-toxic thing that's going on. Um, of course, we still have the, uh, the four-star team up in Legend who you guys were on a break, taking a break this week, right? Correct. And next week, do you have plans laid out for next week? Yeah, or? we got we're going to be doing some uh, organization this weekend on working on our preparation for next week. And uh, 
you should uh, make sure if you're on the non-toxic four-star team to be checking on band regularly for that information. Oh, wow, they're tearing through me with their Panthers. All right, well, I'm tearing through other people with my Kamathi Panthers right now. And yeah. I'm also getting torn up by Panthers. It seems like the AI has really been changed a little bit when it comes down to responsiveness. Well, if I'm going up against somebody that has Panthers, I always take a, a militia or two just oh, yeah. for distraction. Because Panthers really love to go to militia. It seems like Panthers go militia and then range troops and then your type. Mm. In that in that order. So, um, you know, it's just like anything else. They've changed the the AI of the of the troops and what troops target first. Mm-hmm. Because you know, grenadiers will target. If you have a Titan in front and troops in the back, grenadiers will shoot the troops over the Titan now. Mm-hmm. Whereas before, they would just you could use your Titan to distract the grenadiers. So. You just got to learn what the new, and I don't know what they all are because, you know, I haven't, um, you know, spent the time to just, you know, let me take this troop in battle and see what these troops do. And, it, you know, I haven't done that, but yeah. um, I've done it. I've done enough to know, you know, to know what I need to take. I just haven't, you know, worked out all the details, but you just need to learn, you know, learn that. And, and once you know how the AI is going to react and what the pathing of the troops is going to be, then, you know, you can use the placement of your own troops to help protect, like if you're using an Archer Titan that's maybe not high enough level because that's the one you have, then yeah. you can use those other troops to distract troops and, you know, kind of protect your Archer Titan that way. That, that's what you have to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but, uh, but yeah, so the Panthers can be nasty, especially if, you know, they got Kamathi buff on the Panthers, then that's pretty, that's pretty wild. Um, yeah. Back, I'm back to Sardu for my last battle here. So anything else that yeah. you want to talk? Uh, no, not really. Um, you know, Rogue Squad is, uh, in, um, Elite battle. League and, uh, currently bouncing between second and third place. Uh, there is a there is an alliance in first place that uh, is made up. From what I can tell, their rule is you have to be player level thirty or higher to be in their alliance. Um, they're not even trying, and they're ten million ahead of everybody else. So, wow. Um, thinking that's what's going to happen at the end of this week. I'm not hundred percent sure yet, but I'm thinking is that uh, we're going to uh, shed some VP and drop down to sixth place and not allow ourselves to be promoted because yeah. when we started when we started the drop and roll campaign, one of the things that we did to kind of make, because we knew that gold league and platinum league was going to be, you know, what it was, right? It was just upgrading, right? Mm-hmm. But we, we, we figured once we got higher, we would run into some competition. So, we decided early on that we would not allow ourselves to be promoted to the next league until we won first place. So the way we're going to do that is Sunday, Sunday, we'll start taking players out of the Alliance and bringing them right back. And that resets their VP to zero. And then that way we can stay out of the promotion zone. Oh yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be in the same league again, uh, next week. And, um, so, that's what uh, that's what Rogue Squad's doing. Uh, the five hundred thousand VP minimum is in effect again for Rogue Squad. We kind of suspended that a little bit while we were down in Gold League and, and Platinum League, but um, it's back in effect now. And um, as we get promoted, we're going to raise that up a hundred or one hundred and fifty k per league, so that by the time we get to Master League, we're at seven hundred or eight hundred fifty k minimum. And, uh, you know, when we, if we win master, then, uh, you know, we'll go up to, uh, you know, 900 or a million VP minimum for, for, for legend league for the rogue squad. Now in team maniac, which is, uh, Stumbino and Caesar and Ganker beast and Falco and those guys, um, those guys, uh, have a 
minimum of 450 this week. Probably going to go up next week, and they're in Champion League. Um, yeah, they're on their so way. They're... Go ahead. Oh, I said that they're on their way. They're rising up in the ranks, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what Stabino plans to do, but Stabino runs the, the NP Maniac mm -hmm. um, Alliance. I do have my Timmy... Uh, secondary account in there as the quote-unquote leader of the alliance but that's more of a housekeeping administration thing mm -hmm. uh some be knows the one that that actually runs that alliance so um so if you I, I think they may have a spot or two available that will get filled up by a couple of players from guardians next week mm -hmm. guardians still our, our proving ground, our entry, our gateway alliance into mm -hmm. the non-toxic family. And um, I get a lot of, I get some messages from, like, I got a message from one guy saying, I've been playing two years. I know what I can do. Yep, I'm, I'm sure you do. But I just looked at your profile, and you're a level 27 player. Why do you only have 35,000 PP? Right? It, it's Wednesday. You should. <laughs> exactly. So, you come into Guardians and you you know do the best you can. Guardians is in Master League, which is pretty much the same as Legend League when it comes to the targets that are available mm -hmm. for for you to attack. So come into Guardians and you know prove yourself. Um, it does two things. It lets us. You know, if you're if you're if you do over two million or a million and a half or whatever, you know, then and yeah, maybe you need to go to the main main alliance. Yeah. If you you know, if you do eight hundred thousand, then you know, maybe you're not quite ready to go to the main alliance and you wanna you know, maybe you wanna go over to Rogue Squad or go over to Maniacs and you know, do some upgrades or something. Uh, maybe you don't want to go anywhere. Maybe you like being in Master League and just chilling because you can actually get a lot of upgrades done in Master League if you're in an alliance that's not trying to compete to get promoted. Mm -hmm. And that's what Guardians is doing. Guardians is not trying to compete to get promoted. So you can have gold lands and food lands and have targets available to attack and get some upgrades done in Master League. And then when you're ready, you can go. Yeah. Um, the other thing that having Guardians and having you join Guardians first is it gives us a, a, a chance to get acclimated to the way we do things in non-toxic, which is a little bit different than other alliances. Um, and it gives us, you know, make sure that you get on band, make sure that you, you know, understand how to, you know, find what you need to find on there. Um, gives you a few days to maybe decide which alliance you want to try to go for, um, that type of thing. So, um, and of course we do have people that pop in and, you know, they, they leave because they're looking, you know, they pop in and they're like, Oh, what do you mean? You guys, you guys are in 22nd place. And then they just leave when those are people that we don't really want in the organization anyway, because they're looking for a quick, season in reward and they may or may not hang around we're looking for long-term players yeah we're looking for um, loyalty not somebody that not jumpers basically right right we're building it we're building a community that plays dawn of titan we're not building a dawn of titan alliance and that is the biggest difference between the way we do things and some of the other uh other alliance groups out there so um so what else? That it? That's pretty much it. I I am just uh, doing some dailies right now and just waiting f to s make sure that we cover everything. But I think we have. We are um yep. and I'm gonna be coming back with a live stream tonight too to uh, finish out for the event. It's a two day event, so okay, two cool. two live streams. So yeah, I'll be back again tonight to do a live stream. So uh, I hope to yeah. see see you all there. Um, but yeah, we'll have more discussion tonight live. So uh, um. You know that that'll be that. Um, other than that, too, uh, can't wait to see what comes up after this event. So we'll see what happens. So. Yeah, draws the power. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, because this has only got fifteen hours and twenty minutes left. So I mean, and that's Friday. Yeah. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. So. All right. Cool. All right. So.
All right, DOT community, uh, we will be back at you again uh, next week with the show. Um, so uh, we will talk to you guys all again soon. Uh, for all non-toxic uh, gamers, the, I am Zalon. And I'm Bo. And we will be back again soon.